I'm sure that you've heard the name Ivan the Terrible. Under the reign of Ivan in the Russian Tsardom, we're gonna look at some of the most brutal punishments that made him a terrible person. Impalement was a brutal punishment during Ivan the Terrible's time in the Russian Tsardom. The victim would often be a political opponent or someone deemed a threat. They'd be impaled on a long stake, usually inserted through the rectum and left to die in agony. This method aimed to inflict maximum pain as the stake would gradually penetrate the body causing internal injuries and a slow, torturous death. Ivan the Terrible utilized impalement as a means to instill fear in his subjects, assert his power, and send a chilling message to potential dissenters. Burning at the stake easily classifies as a brutal punishment used during the reign of Ivan the Terrible. In this punishment, offenders would be tightly bound to a wooden pole destined for demise. A horrifying death by burns and suffocation, as the flames wrapped around their bodies, they would experience excruciating pain, and the smoke made it harder for them to breathe, and as they struggled for breath, they just choked on more fumes, eventually succumbing to the combined effects of burns and smoke inhalation. The sight of individuals burning alive instilled fear and reinforced Ivan the Terrible's authority through sheer brutality. It was used in a public setting to discourage anyone from doing what the offender did. Drawing and quartering was another form of brutal punishment used in the Russian Tsardom under Ivan the Terrible. The condemned individual would be tied to four horses, with each limb bound to a different horse. The horses would be then urged to run in different directions, tearing the victim's body apart into four pieces. This method of execution was intentionally designed to inflict maximum pain and suffering. It was a gruesome and brutal spectacle intended to serve as a deterrent and display the Tsar's power. The act of tearing apart a person's body in such a manner showcased the ruthlessness and cruelty of Ivan the Terrible's regime. But that's nothing compared to being boiled alive. It was a horrifying punishment that happened during the reign of Ivan the Terrible. The offender would be thrown into a large cauldron filled with boiling water, oil, or tar. As a scorching hot boiling liquid enveloped their body, causing unbearable pain as their flesh was scalded and cooked while they were still alive, leading to severe burns leading to a slow and agonizing death. Breaking on the wheel was a common punishment in the ancient kingdoms, and it was a gruesome punishment inflicted during the reign of Ivan the Terrible. The victim or the offender was strapped onto a large wheel or cartwheel, and then the executioner would systematically strike their limbs with an iron rod or hammer. I wonder how that would look in a resume at the job description section. Each blow was strong enough to shatter the bones, inflicting pain and causing severe injury. This torturous process knew no end until the victim succumbed to their injuries or died from shock and trauma. Beheading is one of the most common ways of execution in the most ancient kingdoms and a very common form of punishment where the condemned person would be positioned with their neck exposed and a skilled executioner would swiftly sever their head with a sword or an axe. This method was very generous considering the other options as it ensured a relatively quick death. Though the initial blow could still be painful and terrifying, suffering isn't prolonged. Beheadings were bust and shown as a public spectacle, the common people showing the Tsar's authority and instilling fear among the population, even though it was a quick and less painful, it was considered a severe punishment reserved for serious offenses. Next up on the list is flogging. Offenders would be stripped naked and then tied to a post or something called a flogging frame, and a whip or other instruments would be used to deliver severe lashings on their bare skin. The blows were merciless that caused deep lacerations and left permanent scars as a reminder of the punishment, and these people were an outcast from the society as it was often carried out publicly, serving as a deterrent and a means of asserting the Tsar's power. The physical and psychological trauma inflicted by flogging aimed to punish and humiliate the offender, reinforcing the authority of the Tsardom. Lastly, starvation and exile were cruel punishments given to those considered enemies or threats to the regime. These people would be confined to dark and dismal dungeons, deprived of food and simple basic necessities. They would suffer from extreme hunger, weakening their bodies and leading to a slow and agonizing death. Alternatively, some individuals were exiled to remote and inhospitable regions, where they would face harsh conditions and isolation, eventually succumbing to starvation and despair. These punishments were employed by Ivan the Terrible to maintain control, instill fear, and eliminate any perceived threats to his authority. They were characterized by extreme brutality and aimed to showcase the Tsar's power and ruthlessness. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.